Welcome back guys to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. In today's video, I'm going to do a walk around of the 2024 Aito M9 offering from Huawei. Let's go. All right guys, so I'll just start here from the front. So this is their um, big SUV, the biggest SUV offering from Huawei, known as the Huawei Aito. And that is a smaller kind of like sport version over there but I'm going to show you today this big one so it's a M9 and this is the front view very very wide view and if you can look up there the car is being charged and the headlamps doubles as an information screen so it's telling us the amount of charge the amount of time that's left for it to be fully charged so it's like seven hours 21 minutes it's on slow charge right now which is really cool so even when you're charging the car and you're approaching, you can actually tell how much charge you have, uh, how much time you have to charge the car. And if we look here, there's a camera, um, and you got the headlamps over here, um, L LEDs, and you also have daytime running lights running all the way from the edge through the middle, all the way to the other side. So at night, it looks really nicely lit. And you have not a fig but a real wind inlet here to cool the tires, uh, the brakes, and also for aerodynamic purposes to save fuel. And it's a very huge car over five meters long, kind of like a SUV limousine. And if we take a look at the tire, we have a 22. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, it's kind of dark here, but it's 22 inches. I like the wheels, very nice solid wheels with many spokes all around to give it some stability. And in there you got your suspension, so it comes with air suspension, which is really, really cool. It's going to make it really, really comfortable to drive. You got one camera here and you got another camera there. And to enter this vehicle, you just need NFC, so it comes with a card, or if, if you have the um, mobile phone app, you can just um, do all those good things that come with cars now. And up there, you have some cameras on the windshield and some radar sensors up there. And uh, as we move to, I'm just gonna take you around before I get into the car. So it's got one of these pop out door handles for opening the car and here you have a standard uh, rear view mirror with a triangle here indicating or showing when there's a car in your blind spot so a blind spot monitor and overall let's see the doors open really really wide like that and you got some nice aluminum running all the way from the front to the back giving it a more luxury feel and you get a running board which is nicely tucked away and if we come to the charging department just like all the other cars so this is the dc charger right here and this is your slow charging so it's on charge right now and uh, going down here we have some nice red brake calipers and a very thick wide diameter brake discs to give you some very strong stopping power and on the rear let's take a look at the, the boot space so this is a complete six seater and as you can see there isn't enough space left in the back but of course when the seats are down it's going to have a lot more space and how do you get the seats down you get four buttons conveniently placed here to control the seats and you have some tie down hooks here nicely tucked away and damped as well when you open it and there's another one here as well for hanging things that don't you don't want to move about and there are some tie down points right here as well and there's a 12 volt, volt socket here which carries 12 volts or 120 watts and if we look under this you can see there's a fuse box here and this is all the space you have left after you have lifted this and it's not it's not very deep so it can only carry so much but there is that extra space if you need it and of course 
Uh, for a car this price, I would think that the boot cover, the inside of the boot cover would be felt, will be covered with felt, but it's just simple plastic. But anyway, but it's, it's, it works anyway. So you press that to close the boot and, and that shuts really, really confidently. So there you have it, the M9 i2 harmony intelligent Mo mobility alliance brake lights on the on the upper part of the boot cover and you have a camera here as well for safety readings and it has a very wide back uh, looking down here you've got your parking sensors and there's no exhaust showing although this car is is a hybrid so it's a hybrid car with a 1.5 uh, turbo engine, 1.5 T engine, uh, which is coupled with electric power. And the full range is 1,400 at least, 1,400 kilometers combined. So that is really, really cool. It's just like the technology in the Li Shan car. And coming to the right side of the car, let me just step out a little bit so you can see, you can appreciate how long and wide this car is. So let's finish our outside and you get some nice rails here as well to mount some carriers or extra load. And then the right side of the car, just like on the other side, nothing really different here so let's go ahead and move into the car i'll start from the rear and show you so the door opens really really wide and it goes all the way down so and because of this running board you're not going to soil your clothes because this is going to cover when you are trying to get into the car so all kinds of debris is going to keep all debris and mud out of the car and here you have some really nice door pockets here right here and you have the door opening here and your button for opening the window and luckily we have bright seats here these kind of orange brownish seats which gives us enough brightness to to show you what the inside really looks like and it's got these nets here for for insulating you from the sun so and it's not electronic it's manual but it's very soft so you pull it until it hooks up here and you let go it's overall really really nice so let's step in the car try to do it elegantly so if i get in the car let me just shut the door so Everything is nicely illuminated. To open the door, just press here and the door opens. And it's electronically aided. So when I opened it, it closed, it opened by itself. That's really, really nice. So if we look here, we got uh, a code hook right here and we've got a touch sensitive overhead lights. And we have some AC vents here, very conventional. And we have some grab handles here, speaker grill right there. And you have the same setup on the other side as well. And if I just look at the back real quick, so the back seat is big enough to handle adults seating, which is really, really cool. Let me just step in the back seat. So as you can see, I'm 183 centimeters tall and that front seat is positioned to my comfort. And you can see I've still got enough space here. So it's not one of those cars where you have the third row seat just for kids, for adults as well. And it has controls here. You can control your backrest, your seat forward and back. You got heated seats here. You got a 12, uh, a type C charging port right here. Got a cup holder and some nice wooden trim and you get some speakers right there which is really really cool it's going to give you some really nice sound you got airbag sign up there 
I'm sure there's airbag all around. And if I just move on to the opposite seat, so this is exactly the kind of seat I'm sitting on right now. And same thing as well. This other passenger also has their own controls here, which is really, really cool. You got AC vents here. So even the people at the back are not going to be uh, deprived of cool air. You also have Isofix anchor points in the third row seats. So that is really cool. Not just in the middle seats, which have that as well. Now I'm jumping back into the middle row seat and as you can see you've got it this airplane style sort of buttons here for recline all kinds of posi positioning of the seat and for cooling and heater seats oh so you can actually control so it pushes me back it reclines the seat for kind of like sleep mode and you have the foot rest come out from under the seat and I'm kind of lying completely flat right here you can see how relaxed I am that is really amazing all control just from this button and when I press it again this is what I have it goes back It's adjusting me into readjusting me into my normal position. Let's see if it's going to bring the front seat back to its original position. And it's moving me towards the door. It has repositioned me to my and the front seat returns as well. So it's really, really cool. If you're on a long journey, especially the middle row passengers, I'm going to enjoy it really, really well. So, so still staying on the middle seats, the second row seat, we have some, as usual, some controls as well. And if we look here, you got a foot rest right here that can be brought down to rest your foot. And as you can see, I have enough space for my feet. And if you look down here, there is a holder for your mobile phone or any other device and a type C socket is nicely tucked away under this lid which is really really cool and in the middle you have controls as well for your um your ac your fan your basically your conditioning uh whilst you're in the car so the rear, rear passengers can have their individual controls as well it is it has a split system sunroof one in the front with a metal i believe a sort of metal to stabilize the vehicle and then you have the rear one as well which can be opened now let's get in the passenger seat before the driver's seat so nothing new here and as usual the controls and all the seats have these very soft pillows for the comfort of your head and your neck and if you look in here you have your air vents very nice material sort of like alcantara and overall a very flat dash right here and you have multiple screens here so there's a main screen in the middle there's a screen for the driver and there is another screen for the passenger so the whole front is basically one giant screen divided into three parts which is really really cool and you get some speaker grills coming from here and if you look up here you have a glasses holder you have your sos button you have some headlamps uh, overhead lamps and you have your sun visor with a vanity mirror both on the passenger side and the driver's side and if we look at the screen you have like i already mentioned about the screens but you have your hazard lights here your vents and you have two charging wireless charging pads and you have your rotor control for controlling functions on the screen when i move it see what happens on the screen and then you have a packet here for uh extra storage you have your cup holders which can be closed just like that and to open the middle console you just press that it has a split system and you have another 
um, type C socket here and a 12 volt socket inside nicely lined with felt so that's that's good and overall it looks really really nice I'm liking this seat the color of these seats and this dash has this nice C shaped wrap around which is really really cool and you get a pocket here that you can open to reveal another secret space my seat is moved forward but unlike many cars that have an open space down there this one can actually be closed so that's really really cool moving quickly to the driver's side so yeah this is arguably the most important seat in the car so if i just move my seat backwards a little bit so as a driver this is what you're gonna see so the driver's seat is mainly to provide important information uh provided by the car and yeah i can see some nice daytime running lights down here it's gonna look beautiful at night i believe and overall a very nice small small ish steering wheel which has adopted this tesla style rotors uh, which i believe works so yeah so you have your basic information your charge information and all that and you also have a camera here I'm told for uh, making video calls and stuff like that while you're driving and you got airbags all around so overall you kind of sit in high up in the car which makes you feel like you're the king of the road and the doors open really really wide so very nicely done here by Huawei now something that's very interesting I don't know if you can see let me try to zoom in but look at the HUD it looks like you're watching a movie it's it's beyond augmented reality it's just a giant screen that you're looking at as you move along it's it, it's almost like you're watching a movie on the road which is really really amazing it, it doesn't look like a HUD it looks like you're watching kind of like playing some sort of a computer game I don't know how it's going to look like when you're actually driving on the road but it looks really really cool giving you the directions that you have to turn at and all your speed information the general map of the road speed limits and all that so I'm not sure if it's like this on the road but uh, you can only know when you start driving the car so yeah this is the driver's view of the vehicle all right guys so that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching I'm truly grateful if you are new to this channel, do me a favor, smash the like button and smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. I hope you found value in this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video guys, ride legal, ride safe always. Peace and I'm out.